Hey YouTube and welcome to Mutated Judinko Jud Baby's Slayer Guide. They are level 90. Uh, they melee in range. Uh, their drops are 100% drops are uh, Mutated Vines and Excrescence or something. Um, they also drop mostly noted herbs, mag uh, logs like magic, yews, and I think mahogany. Some of the herbs they drop are Rainer, Toadflex, I think Eared also. They also drop Juju teleport pouches in case you're running low in your bank, you can just bop pick them up as your kills. They drop fruits. Those fruits sometimes I think common fruits heal you. And some of the other rare ones like Samurai and stuff, I think they give you prayer bonus. It's kind of weird. I haven't gotten any of those though. Uh, they also drop some seeds if you'd want to collect those. But they're usually not very good. If you're know, trying to collect stuff, I would say you should probably pick up the herbs and the uh, uh, logs. Okay, so this is going to be a really long task because they're spread out and it takes a while. But the setup I would say you should probably use is um, full Slayer Helm. Glory or Fury. I'm probably be using the Fury, but if you're if you don't have as much right now, or you spent your bank, I would say you should probably use the Glory. Uh, there's Bandos. Um, I'm using full band. I'm using Bandos, but you can use uh, Torags. That's really cheap right now. It's Barra's items, but it provides better defense than uh, Bandos. But Bandos provides you um, more. What is it? More strength bonus, so you can hit more often and stuff. You can use for um, gloves. I would say you should probably use rune gloves from Recipe for Disaster or above. I I only have dragon, uh, but if you don't have rune or you can't get rune from that Recipe for Disaster, I would say you should buy a region bracelet because that provides you better stats than anything, any of those items at least. A uh, ring of wealth for better drops, I guess, or you can change it for like slash ring or a berserk ring or something, or onyx eye. There's a Dragon Defender, but I would say you should use a Rune uh, rune Defender or Dragon uh, to provide yourself a uh, better offensive attack stuff, combat. But you can also use a DFS to tank more, but that that'll probably take you a little bit longer than anything. But you'll take a lot less damage. Uh, you can use a Skill Cape or you can use a uh, Fire Cape. There's Revenant Swords, just, I guess, just to fill the spot. Then uh, some of the weapons you can use is Abbey Web, Dragon, Def Dragon uh, Scimitar, or Dragon Longsword, uh, Sarah Sword, Zami Spear, I guess, Blade, Blade, Blade Spear, or the Blade Sword. Yeah, Blade Sword. You can also use Chaotix, but if you have Chaotix, probably be the best choice. Okay, now I wouldn't recommend. I would say you should probably melee this task, but if you want to range, you probably want something like that, like this setup. Yeah, I like this. You don't want uh, Kof if you don't have a sl full Slayer Helm, which I do, so I'm gonna put that on. Then you can have a Dragon Hide. Uh, you can probably just buy the black one if you can, or any other ones. Uh, the Spirit Shield, but you can probably use the Arctic Armadale book or any other books. Let's see, then you'll need Broad Bolts or any other bolts you, you can afford. There you can use a chaotic or rune sebo. Uh, I use snake skin to give myself the extra range um, attack bonus. Then use dragon dragon gloves because they're better than the dragon hide and things. And I still have the ring of wealth. I would, say, but if you're gonna use range in this method, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult and a little more uh, challenging. And I'll show you what I mean by that when we get there. So um, the thing you wanna do now. Is how to get there is we're gonna have to go to either teleport to Felidor or it's Birthrob where the new um oh I don't know where I am we're gonna, go to, we're gonna wanna go to Felidor or go to Felidor if you teleport to Felidor this is method one to get to the place we have to get the Juju bags if you step over here you'll you'll spawn here and from here you want to run up here and follow the arrow and you want to go to Teverly and go to this water fountain or the other methods if you get a gain necklace you teleport to Birthrop you'll t 
teleport right here and you'll have to run down down to Tavly this way. So I'm probably going to use the Falador one because I can just stop here and uh, get from a rest or you can stop it up here. I, th I think there's somewhere one up here. I don't know for exactly, but I'll I'll meet you in Taverly, guys. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back. And I am now in Taverly. So if you go to these two fountains, you will see uh, Betamax. And if you trade her, you can buy uh, Juju Teleport Spirit Bags. But you only need one for this task. But if you want a banking uh, save couple for the future, you are more than welcome to. So you teleport with that cool emote. Boom. Hmm. And we should spawn. Here we go. There, there we are. So you want to climb over the climbable vine, and then you want to. After that, oh, no, slurf. Okay. Oh, there we go. We keep running forward. Or oh, this would be west. If you get your uh, compass. You want to jump over the stepping stones. Oh damn, my agility is low. 68, I didn't think I would fail, but hey. You never know. So, you can either summon your uh, familiar now, or you can do it later. Uh, I would probably say you should bring a bunny up, or a fire titan, or unicorn to heal you, because these things do uh, hit you quite often for some uh, damage, though. So I'm going to summon mine. Hopefully I can complete this. And I'll show you guys a couple of kills. Yeah, we'll do the S one out. At least we try to. I think I only had 15 uh, kills left on the Slayer test because I took a break on them. Because they were getting that painful. But they do drop some decent items. A lot of herbs and uh, magic and a lot of um, logs are noted, which they do add up. Like, I think I had 45 uh, magic logs last round and like 200 mahogany, which are both really decent money. But they're just kind of slow and painful because they're spread apart because uh, because you have to like uh, kill one, then you have to either attack one, then run back and pick up your loot, or you have to wait there for the loot to show up. So you kind of have to guess. But you see they'll always drop the mutated vines and the excrescence and they'll sometimes drop the seeds but some of these seeds are worth are worthless so there's no point in picking them up but if you get a torso then good for you it's like 200k i think uh hopefully they get good the strawberry seeds aren't bad but they do uh the charms they drop are usually green i think one in like 15 or 20 is green, and the blues are really rare. The Actually, the uh, blues are, might be more common than uh, gold charms. Last time, I think it took me like 50 kills before I got a single uh, gold charm, which is kind of nice for the ratio. Okay, guys, I just finished off my task, and this is what I got. But I also remembered, I also remembered guys, that I did not show you how a ranged attack looks like, so I'm going to do it now. Oh, this clicked. Here we go. Let's do a kill. Oh, no, no, no. There you go. You want to do rain, buddy? Yeah, guys. Sorry, I forgot. I brought, what is it on? Fire making cape, not on. Um, accumulator, which is a fail. <laughs> it's mailing me. Okay. Well, let's try the next kill. Let's go. Let's go. DDS him. Get some out. Boom. 115. Yeah, my, uh, uh, my, my range is really bad. It's only 80. So, I might, this might take a while. Man, I guess there really isn't much of a difference if you range or melee. 